I spend a lot of time every spring going through every long range weather model I can find to try and figure out when and where the tornadoes are going to happen. But is there any real way to forecast tornadoes in the summer this early? I went on a quest to find out. It's, it's really difficult to forecast out in the future. And even things like, like forest fire smoke, if we have a big forest fire year and the whole country is covered with smoke for a lot of the summer, that really cuts down on the amount of uh, instability because the sunshine isn't getting through. Despite those difficulties and given that the U.S. is far and above the most active spot in the world for tornadoes, Dr. Victor Gensini has been working on U.S. seasonal forecasts for tornadoes and has been having some success. In the States we've been testing some of these seasonal forecasts. They're primarily based on the El Nino Southern Oscillation. That actually has a pretty significant bearing on the structure of the jet stream that ends up evolving over North America. So if we're in a week to transitioning La Nina this spring, how does that affect the tornado season? For La Nina specifically, what we typically see is more activity in the mid-south of the U.S., more outbreaks. That's exactly what we've kind of seen so far in 2025 across the U.S. But with La Nina fading into neutral mode, what can we expect in Canada? We do know that as you get deeper into the convective season, so June and July, and so has less of an effect on the North American pattern. Okay, so if the U.S. has an active season, does that mean that Canada is going to have the same? doesn't really correlate all that well. And in fact, some of the worst severe thunderstorm convective years, worst meaning like no activity happening in the US, are some of Canada's best years because the jet stream has shifted northward and there's more favorable environments. Victor agrees that one part of Canada, Southern Ontario specifically, is going to be the place to watch for significant increase in thunderstorms and tornadoes over the long term. That is an area of North America that is kind of the hotbed hotspot for greatest increases that we expect to see. As always, stay informed and follow us for the latest forecast details as we head into thunderstorm and tornado season in Canada.